And I'm sure most of the speakers have mentioned a lot of things. Tonight, I want to mention about a love letter, Surat Chitra. In all my years dealing with Raisi, there's one letter that caught my eye. It was a love letter written by a man to his wife. Of course, there's a lot of words and all that, but the ones I remember most was, My dear, my love, you are the jewel of my heart. I miss and love you so much. Please remain strong. And at the end, he drew little heart shaped googlings on the drawing, on the card to be given to his wife. And your first thought, you know, very difficult to get a Malay man to express such things to his wife, okay? That's one thing. Although I'm lucky enough. Secondly, this person must really adore his wife. Who is this? It was none other than Matsah, Ibn Matsatri, an ISAD team, alleged to be a terrorist now facing his seventh year in ISAD. His wife, Kalaina, is very independent. She speaks up. She's very vocal, very confident. And you think, I mean, you think of the Taliban, you think of the fundamentalists, you have an image in your head. We are here together today because we are against the IC. But then there are some of us who feel, well, for terrorists, you need an act such as that to ensure we are safe. I am telling you here today, who are we to judge if the person is terrorist or not? If they are guilty, bring them to court. We have a sufficient law. Remember, no matter how much, how many times they want to call Malaysia, they want to see. We have the Sedition Act, Defamation Act, Penal Code, Communications and Multimedia Act, all such acts to ensure we remain safe. We remain protected by the law. Why then is there the need to detain these people? And do we actually ask yourself, do we actually trust the police who we can't even trust to take care of our children playing in the playground, who we can't even uh, trust to take down our police report after we've been waiting for three, four hours? Do we really trust them to ensure they are doing due diligence in the detention of anyone for that matter. We have fundamental flaws in our system today. We have fundamental flaws in the police force. And if we do not correct these flaws, forever laws like such like such the IAC and other laws will be misused, abused in the name of those in power. They have not learned this. They have not learned. Because of that, I urge you. I don't want to speak long because our struggle is beyond tonight. Our struggle is beyond the Petra's release. Our struggle is for a real, a real democratic Malaysia that holds true to its principles. And I want a firm commitment from all of you tonight. Tell your friends. Thank you very much.